Hey, Jenny here. In previous videos, we have done backgrounds. What can you do with them? Well, today we're going to paint some lovebirds on a tree branch with some white and pink blossoms. So we're going to start with our number two brush and black, black paint. And I want the lovebirds to be somewhere around the middle. So I'm going to plan out my branch and the lovebirds and then work around it. So I want the branch to be, I want the lovebirds right there. So I'm going to work away and the branches always get larger as they go away from the point towards the towards the trunk they're always thicker you can do small strokes like that or you can always do it more uh, more jagged whatever you feel more comfortable with there's no wrong way to do it I like to wrap my branches right around the side of the canvas Picking up this branch. I'm going to have my little love birds. And then I like the branch to come up. And that one's going to come down. I'm just going to make random branches around. You know, I got a little thicker there than I wanted to. So now I have to thicken the whole thing. Okay, it happens. But you don't want your branches to look weird and thinner where they're not supposed to be. Wrap that right around. Now the lovebirds are going to be around here. So I'm going to put branch that kind of frames them in there. It'll go above them a little bit. Okay, so I'm just planning it out at this point. Now to make sure that I don't encroach on my lovebird area, I'm going to paint the lovebirds right now. Okay, so I want to put my little lovebirds here. I'm going to start with the, the one on the left. And I start with the little, the little round birdie head. And then an oval body. And then you just kind of smooth 
where the little bird neck is. And then normally their, their chest kind of comes out a little bit. And then they have a little tail that kind of, it goes along with their back. So wherever you figure that the back is, you can make the little tail. And the little wing. There's one bird. Then we're going to do the other bird. We'll do the little round bird head. bird body. And this one is going to be looking more more straight ahead and this one's to the side. I like a nice little round bird, a little round chickadee. It's a little tail. Okay, now all we need are their little beaks. I want to make this guy's face a little rounder too. Okay, so for the beak I start with a line. And then I just fill it in and make it like a little, a little triangle. And then she's going to be looking up this way, but you can only see the tip of her beak. Just a little bit. Make his belly a little rounder there. Okay, so those there are our lovebirds. So now I can plan that branch above their heads. so that it doesn't hit them in the head. So once the lovebirds are there, I can frame around it. I have all this other space here. You know, if you think about it, the branches on a tree, they grow randomly, they grow where they want. So 
You don't have to do the branches in any kind of a particular way. However you do them is the right way. Now I want to make a branch coming down over here. From another tree. There's going to be like another tree over here that we can't see. But we know it's there. Because this little branch is going to be coming over into our painting. And I like to wrap it around. And I'll put branches wherever I feel that I need to fill the space. I don't like too many empty spaces. I'm going to want to do the same thing down here. I'm going to have another branch coming in probably from that same, that very same tree. wind up here. And I like it when my branches cross. Yeah. Pull one up there. Gives it a little bit of depth. You get the feeling that this branch right here is a little closer than that one. Okay. Now we can do our blossoms. It's going to bring it to life. And I just make dots. Dots that look blossomy like a flower petal. And if you just go from the paint straight on, it, it's awfully drippy. So I kind of smudge it on the paint, the paint on the plate a little bit. And it gives it a more petally look.
And they don't all have to be the same size, they can all be different. Just put them around. This is a great time to cover up any kind of strange limb areas that you, you just didn't like. Just move the brush around so that they don't all look the same. And I like to make some of the blossoms a little smaller, if you can, on some of the, the thinner branches. You could even use a smaller brush if you wanted to. Blossoms here by our little lovebirds. Sometimes they're only on one side of the branch, like I just did there. And they'll be like hanging down on that side. Sometimes they're straight on. Experiment with a, a little bit of a different variety of them. This is why your, your branches don't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter if you make jagged branches or smooth swirling ones because with the blossoms you're going to be covering up a lot of that anyway. Now if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm actually going to put a little bit of a branch there. I feel like I needed a blossom there. I 
it's okay. You can always go back and add more. You can fix. With art, there's no wrong way to do it. Even if, if you don't like it, you can always go back and change it. You can paint over it if you have to. It's no big deal. You just have to get into it at some point. You just have to start it. Now we can go in and use whatever color you want. I'm going to choose this nice bright pink and it'll go in the center of each flower or to the side of it because like each flower isn't going to be straight on. See like that's a straight on flower but this flower might be pointing that way. They're, they're all going to be different. I'm going to start over at the left so that I don't have to drag my hand. See that one's pointing up. So they'll all be different. I'll be going that way. Bring all of our little blossoms to life. on that one. See? It's your art. You can do whatever you want with it. Nice for the spring. This is getting me in the feeling of spring. I can't wait. And if you wanted to, you could paint names on here. For like a child's bedroom or for a wedding gift. You could put like their last name. Okay. Look at these little love birds and their blossom tree. Thank you for joining me for this love bird painting. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if there are other things that you'd like me to paint.